so welcome back again uh, in this video i'm going to solve one listening test from newly re released ielts book number 15 so here i do have downloaded the pdf files of ielts book 15 and we'll be practicing listening test one and sharing with you so before that uh, uh, here the I have some let's say categories expert user very good user and good user competent user and modest user like that so if you get about uh, 30 in your listing test you are going to score overall band seven in your listing so uh, very clearly there are four sections in the listening test or four parts now in one part contains 10 questions equally so approximately four correct uh, answers carry one band okay so here i'm going to practice this listening test here the first uh, first part is about gap fill question and second part is about this multiple choice and again gap fill again this is matching we need to match these with the answers with the options and again here multiple questions and here gap fill questions so there are 40 questions and i'm going to play <coughs> uh, the audio from the background and on the screen we'll be solving the questions simultaneously therefore i ask you to write ielts cambridge 15 listing test one and keep the numbers from 1 to 40. so with no delay i'm going to play one audio okay and in the background so we'll be uh, doing this listing test together so get ready with your copy and pencil and keep the numbers right one to 20 in one side and 21 to 40 another side of your copy so we'll be checking the answers at the end okay and here ielts book 15 listing test one the listing test is there in the youtube you can even practice from there so i have here the pdf file okay ielts 15 published okay. by cambridge university press and cambridge assessment english 2020 so let's analyze this recording is copyright questions first test one then in the background. This is the IELTS listening test. We have not to write one word and you a number. You will hear a number of different recordings and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. So there is no time to listen the second time? The test is in four parts. Yes. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. We have 10 minutes extra time. Now turn to part one. Okay, let's begin part one and listen to the uh, instructions. So part you one. You will hear a woman phoning a friend to get information about a job agency. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. So let's read. We have been asked to write one word and a number. One word and number. Here the name of agent and Becky. Okay. So best to call her in the morning, evening, afternoon, night. And most have a good skill. Positive skill is there. And jobs are usually for at least one. Now and the page usually there is found. We need to write to in. Okay, for our, we need to write in number. Hello, William. This is Amber. You said to phone if I wanted to get more information about the job agency you mentioned. Is now a good time? Uh, hi, Amber. Yes, fine. 
So the agency I was talking about is called Bankside. They're based okay. in Docklands. Docklands. I'll tell you the address now. 497 East Side. Okay. Okay, thanks. So is there anyone in particular I should speak to there? Okay. The agent I always deal with is called Becky Jameson. Becky. Let me write that down. Jameson. Becky. Jameson. J A M I E S O N. Do you have her direct line? Yes, it's in my contact somewhere. Okay. Right, here we are. O seven eight double six. Five one zero triple three. Okay. I wouldn't call her until the afternoon if I were you. Okay. She's always really busy in the morning, so trying afternoon. to fill last-minute vacancies. She's really helpful and friendly, so I'm sure it would be worth getting in touch with her for an informal chat. Oh, it's mainly clerical and admin jobs they deal with, isn't it? Okay. That's right. Admin jobs. I know you're hoping to find a full-time job in the media eventually. But Becky mostly recruits temporary staff for the finance sector, mm -hmm. which will look good on your CV and generally pays better too. Yeah, I'm just a bit worried because I don't have much office experience. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry. They'll probably start you as a receptionist or something like that. So what's important for that kind of job isn't so much having business skills or knowing lots of different computer systems. It's communication. That okay, really that's communication, not business. Mindset. And you'll pick up office skills really quickly on the job. It's not that complicated. They said it's not okay, business, good. that it's communication. So how long do people generally need temporary staff for? It would be great uh, if I could get something lasting at least a month. That shouldn't be too difficult. But you're more likely to be offered something for a week at first, which might get extended. They said it's it's week. unusual to be sent somewhere for just a day or two. Right. I've heard the pay isn't too bad. Better than working in a shop or a restaurant. Oh, yeah. oh yes, definitely. The hourly rate is about ten pounds, eleven if you're lucky. So that is That's ten pounds. That's pretty good. Okay. I was only expecting to get if eight you are or lucky, nine pounds an hour. In order to say that you can get even eleven. Before you so hear that. the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten. Single countable noun is missing here. You must bring your your let's say document, CV, or uh, they will ask questions about each applicants and the uh, you receive what you receive here and less is involved less talk or whatever okay for the time okay involved in applying for jobs let's now listen and answer mm -hmm. questions six to ten okay let's listen do you want me to tell you anything about the registration process yes please I know you have to have an interview. The interview usually takes about an hour, and you should arrange that about a week in advance. Okay. I suppose I should dress smartly if it's for office work. Mm -hmm. I can probably borrow a suit from Mum. Okay. Good suit. idea. It's better to look too smart than too casual. That's fine. Will I need to bring copies of my exam certificates or anything like that? No, they don't need to see those, I don't think. Mm -hmm. What about my passport? Okay, passport? Oh yes, they will ask to see that. Okay. I wouldn't get stressed about the interview though. It's just a chance for them to build a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So they can try and match you to a job which you'll like. So mm -hmm. there are questions about personality. Okay, they personality. Ask questions candidates. about personality. Very basic ones. And they probably won't ask anything too difficult, like what your plans are for the future. Okay. <laughs> Hope not. Anyway, there are lots of benefits to using an agency. Many questions better for the bonus of the agency. Because they'll give you feedback. Okay, feedback. So you can improve next time. And they'll have access to jobs which aren't advertised. Exactly. Okay. Most temporary jobs aren't advertised. And I expect finding a temporary job this way takes a lot less time. Okay, it's less time is in than bringing up individual companies. Time. Yes, indeed. Well, I think I've Okay, here we need to check the answers. That is the end of part Jamison, one. afternoon, you in the morning he's busy and his communication not business one. and it's a week time is there. Ten pound, ten pound. Wear a suit and bring the passport, not the academic documents. Okay. 
and here applicants personality and here the feedback and less time is there okay now move on part two and in this part two we need to okay this is somewhat challenging according to the speaker the company what does this speaker say about the company and where can customers made the tour manager before traveling to the Isle of Man? Okay, how many lunches are included in the price of that holiday? Number of lunches included, and customers have to pay extra for. Okay, if they like to do something like that, they have to pay extra. And let's keep on going. Here again, we have been asked to write one note and you are a number. giving a presentation Sorry. about a holiday on an island in Britain that her company organizes. Okay. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. Okay, we have, okay, we shall look this question later. Just try and going back and again look at the questions. Here we need to choose the one option. And it's very difficult question. We need to, to go bit by bit one by one okay the options in the first question are longer than the question according to the speaker the company okay let's listen and follow the steps hope to see more now listen answers. carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Okay. good morning my name is erica matthews and I'm the owner of Matthews Island Holidays, a company set up by my parents. Okay. Thank you for coming to this presentation mm -hmm. in which I hope to interest you in what we have to offer. Okay. We're a small family run company mm -hmm. and we believe in the importance of the personal touch. Uh -huh. So we don't aim to compete with other companies on mm. the number of customers. No what we do is build on our many years' experience, okay, long more than that. almost any other rail holiday company, okay. to ensure we provide perfect holidays in a small number I'm of sorry, destinations, there. which we've got to know extremely well. Okay. I'll start with our six-day Isle of Man holiday. Isle of Man. This is a fascinating island in the Irish Sea, uh -huh. with Wales to the south, England to the east, mm -hmm. Scotland to the north, and Northern Ireland to the west. Okay. Our holiday starts in Heysham, okay. where your tour it manager will meet you. Heysham. Then you'll travel me. by ferry to the Isle of Man. Okay. Some people prefer to fly from Luton instead, and another popular option is to go by train to Liverpool and take a ferry from there. You have five nights in the hotel, mm -hmm. and the price covers five breakfasts and dinners, mm -hmm. and lunch on the three days okay, where lunch, there are organized three days. trips. Day four is free, lunch and most eight. people have lunch in a cafe or restaurant in Douglas. The price of the holiday includes the ferry to the Isle of Man, all travel on the island, the hotel, and the meals I've mentioned. Okay. Incidentally, we try to make booking our holidays as simple and fair as possible. So, unlike with many companies, the price is the same whether you book six months in advance mm -hmm. or at the last minute. Mm -hmm. And there's no supplement for single rooms in hotels. There's no number one. If you make a booking, then need to change the start date, mm -hmm. for example, okay, the college, you're welcome to change to an alternative date or a different tour okay. for a small administrative fee. The answer is C. Before you hear the rest of the Let's talk, keep going. you have some time and to look at questions 15 to 20. Underline the uh, answer questions. One word and a number here. Hotel dining room has the view of mountain or something. See, or let's see. Uh, this has been found in. Okay, not in this date. And the term train like the train to the, the Snaffel, I Snaffel company provides us something for local transport. Single account for now. Take the now listen and answer questions. And follow the instructions. Okay, let's go. Okay, so what does the holiday consist of? Well, on day one, mm -hmm. you'll arrive in time for a short introduction by your tour manager, mm -hmm. followed by dinner in the hotel. Okay. The dining room looks out at the river, river, close to where it flows into the harbour, and there's usually plenty of activity going on. 
the answer on is day river. Two, you'll take the coach to the small town of Peel. Mm -hmm. On the way, calling in at the Tin World Exhibition. Okay. The Isle of Man isn't part of the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. and it has its own parliament called Tin World. Mm, you know? It's claimed that this is the world's oldest parliament that's still functioning, and mm -hmm. that it dates back to 979. However, mm -hmm. the earliest surviving reference to it is from 1422. So, 1422? perhaps it isn't quite as old 20? as it claims. 1422? Day three, we like have that. a trip to the mountain Snaefell. Mm -hmm. This begins with a leisurely ride along the promenade in Douglas in mm -hmm. a horse-drawn tram. Tram. Then, you board an electric train, mm -hmm. which takes you to the fishing village of Laxey. Mm -hmm. From there, it's an eight kilometer ride in the Snaefell Mountain Railway to the top. Okay, top. Lunch will be in the cafe, giving you spectacular views of the island. Top, okay. Day four is free for you to explore using mm -hmm. the pass which we'll give you. Pass. So you okay. won't have to pay Answer for travel on local transport or for entrance to the island's heritage sites. Okay. Or you might just want to take it easy in Douglas and perhaps do a little light shopping. Mm. The last full day, day five, is for some people the highlight of the holiday with a ride on the steam railway steam. from Douglas to Port Erin. A steam After some time to explore, a coach will take you to the headland that overlooks the Cap of Man, mm -hmm. a small island just off the coast. Okay. From there, you continue to Castletown, Castletown, which used to be the capital of the Isle of Man okay, and capital. the medieval castle. And on day six, it's back to the ferry or the airport if you flew to the island mm -hmm. and time to go home. Okay. Now, I'd like to tell you... So let's check the answers here. We have got the answer from this module. I'm not going to say. Okay, we'll be checking answers you later, I guess. Seconds to check your let's read here. Departed. This section is really tall. And we need to minimize somehow. I'm going to minimize this section because the questions are here. This part is really tall. And this is matching questions. We need to match this information here. Again, these options are paraphrased. Outgoing means extroverted, selfish, independent. We'll be listing the synonyms. Oh, Attention seeking, introverted, cooperative. And caring and competitive. The children in a family are born. First, so there are have some time one, to two, three, four, five, six, seven, questions. eight options. One, two, three. There are six questions. Two options are more. There are the traps. Then we will be listing one by one. The eldest child is something like that. All these options, they are highly paraphrased. We need to go bit by bit. See. Just go accordingly, and there is no way to write on the screen. We need to just choose the ends options here. Okay. Now listen carefully and answer questions twenty-one to twenty-six. Okay. Ed, how are you getting on with the reading for our presentation next week? Mm. Well, okay, Ruth, but there's so much of it. I know. Mm -hmm. I hadn't realized birth order was such a popular area of research. Okay, but the hard. stuff on birth order and personality is mostly unreliable. Mm -hmm. From what I've been reading, a lot of the claims about how your position in the family determines certain personality traits mm -hmm. are just stereotypes with no robust evidence to support them. Okay, but that's an interesting point. We could start by outlining what previous research has shown. Okay. There are studies going back over a hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. Still in the back. So we could just run through some of the typical traits. Okay. Like the Trace. consensus seems to be that oldest children are generally less well adjusted because they never get over the arrival of a younger sibling. Okay. Right, but on a positive note, some studies claim that they were thought to be good at nurturing. Okay, so nurturing and caring here. Had large the answer is they would have been expected yeah. to look after the younger ones. There isn't such a clear picture for middle children. Middle children. But one trait that a lot of the studies mention is that they are easier to get on with than older or younger siblings. Mm -hmm. Generally eager to please and helpful. 
the alpha means cooperative. As far as my so the answer is F. My middle brother was a nightmare. It was the exception. Fights and envious of whatever I had. As I said, none of this seems to relate to my own experience. I'm the youngest in my family, okay. and I don't recognize myself in any of the studies I've read about. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to have been a sociable and confident child social. who made friends easily. Okay, there's outgoing. But I was actually terribly shy. Okay. Really? That's funny. There's been hundreds in. of studies on twins, but mostly about nurture versus nature. Okay. There was one on personality which said that a twin is likely to be quite shy in social okay. situations. Simon's introverted. The answer is e. on for support. My cousins were like that when they were small. They were only interested in each other and found it hard to engage with other kids. Right. They're fine now, though. Only children have had a really bad press. Mm -hmm. A lot of studies have branded them as loners who think the world revolves around them because they've never had to fight for their parents' attention. So they're that selfish? a bit harsh. One category I haven't seen me. before was children with much older siblings. A couple of studies mentioned that these children grow up more quickly mm -hmm. and are expected to do basic things for themselves, like getting dressed. I can see how that might be true, although I expect they're sometimes the exact opposite, playing the baby role or clamoring for special treatment. So it was independent? So I Before think there is doubt, the rest I of guess. The, the answer is C. We have time to look at questions 27 to 30. Okay. Let's see, 26, I have doubt. And here, what does the speaker say about the evidence relating to both or, birth order and academic success? What does Ruth think is happening about difference in policy children's academic performance? Let's see. And two now, experiences of siblings, I will raise the speakers every other value, okay. What was the problem with most of these studies, do you think? I think it was because, in a lot of cases, mm -hmm. data was collected from only one sibling per family mm -hmm. who rated him or herself and his or her siblings at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of the old research mm -hmm. into the relationship between birth order and academic achievement has been proved to be accurate, though. Uh -huh. Performances in intelligence tests decline slightly from the eldest child to his or her younger siblings. So this has been proved in lots of recent studies. Yes, although okay. what many of them didn't take into consideration was family size. The more siblings there are, the likelier the family is to have a low socioeconomic status. So the which can also account for yeah. differences between siblings in academic performance. The oldest boy might be given more opportunities than his younger sisters, for mm -hmm. example. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But the main reason for the marginally higher academic performance of oldest children is quite surprising, mm -hmm. I think. What is that? It's not only that they benefit intellectually from extra attention at a young age, which is what I would have expected. It's that they benefit from being teachers for their younger okay, siblings so by verbalizing processes. Right. And it gives them status a. and confidence which again contributes in a small way to better performance. Okay, let's so see would you say sibling rivalry has been a useful thing for you? Sibling rivalry? I think so. Mm -hmm. My younger brother was incredibly annoying. Mm -hmm. and we fought a lot. But I think this has made me a stronger person. Mm. I know how to defend myself. So this is, has been terrible tolerant, D? And I would have died rather than apologize to him. Mm -hmm. But we had to put up with each other. And most of the time, we coexisted amicably enough. Yes, my situation was pretty similar. But I don't think having two older brothers made me any less selfish. I was never prepared to let my brothers use any of my stuff. That's perfectly normal. Okay, the answer seems to be... It's quite, that is the it's, end of part three. It's quite difficult. You now have so we'll be checking answers later. Answers I have chosen D and E, three. D and B. Okay, so here will be, we have to, uh, let's say, get high score. We may have done mistakes here in section three, this section four, we have to get higher band code. It provides something, what's there, and its leaves provide again. Okay, let me enlarge the screen. 
Mm, lime used for making and something peas, cut or the the cut there, create something. As the eucalyptus, which is common in Australia. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Yes, okay. High frequency respires have impact on vegetation resulting in the growth of, in the growth of Something noun is missing here. Make more something is available. Noun is here. Maintain the quality of the quality of the noun is missing. Low frequency push by result in growth of something. Rainforest and a singular noun is missing here. Ecosystem or healthy something is there. And an ideal, ideal environment for the something of the bell minor. Okay, let's go step by step and write, keep writing answers. We have been asked to write only one word here. So let's go one by one. We need to get higher band score in this uh, last part. It is quite, let's say, slower. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. Okay. Today, I'm going to talk about the eucalyptus tree. Eucalyptus this tree. This is a very common tree here in Australia. Australia. Where it's also sometimes called the gum tree. Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to talk about why it's important. Important. Then I'm going to describe some problems it faces Reasons. at present. Okay. Right. Well, the eucalyptus tree is an important tree for lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. For example, it gives shelter to creatures okay, like birds and bats. S -S -E and these and other species shelter. also depend on it for food, -E particularly the nectar from its flowers. So it supports biodiversity. Mm -hmm. It's useful to us humans too because we can kill germs with a disinfectant made from oil extracted from eucalyptus leaves. Okay, that is taken extracted oil. Eucalyptus grows all over Australia mm. and the trees can live for up to 400 years. Okay. So it's alarming that all across the country, numbers of eucalyptus are falling because they are the declining. trees are dying off prematurely. Okay. So what are the reasons for this? One possible reason is disease. Mm. As far back as the 1970s, the mm. trees started getting a disease called Mundula yellows. Mundula yellows. The tree's leaves would gradually turn yellow, mm -hmm. then the tree would die. It wasn't until 2004 that they found the cause of the problem was lime, lime. or calcium hydroxide, to give it its proper chemical name, mm -hmm. which was being used in the construction of roads. Okay, roads, construction The lime was making being washed away the ground ABS and roads. affecting the roots of the eucalyptus trees nearby. Mm -hmm. What it was doing was preventing the trees from sucking up the iron they needed for ah. healthy growth. Okay. Yes, when yeah. this was injected back into the affected trees, mm -hmm. they immediately recovered. Mm -hmm. But this problem only affected a relatively small number of trees. Mm -hmm. By 2000, huge numbers of eucalyptus were dying along mm -hmm. Australia's east coast of a disease known as Bell Minor Associated Dieback. Okay. The Bell Minor is a bird, and the disease seems to be common where there are high populations of Bell Miners. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the leaves of the trees that are affected. What happens is that insects okay. settle on the insects. leaves and oh, yeah. eat their way round them, destroying insects. them as they go, and at the same time, they secrete a solution which has sugar in it. Okay, containing sugar. The bell minor birds really like this solution. Mm -hmm. And in order to get as much as possible, they keep away other creatures that might try to get it. Okay. So these birds and insects flourish at the expense of other species. Mm. And eventually, Attracted so by the, much damage is by done these to and the leaves this is that the tree dies. Okay, keep on. But experts say that trees can start looking sick 
before any sign of bell minor associated dieback. Okay. So it looks as if the problem might have another explanation. Mm -hmm. One possibility is that it's to do with the huge bushfires that we have in Australia. Okay. A theory proposed over 40 years ago mm -hmm. by ecologist William Jackson okay. is that the frequency of bushfires in a particular region affects the type of vegetation that okay. grows there. If there are very frequent bushfires in a region, mm -hmm. this encourages grass to grow afterwards. Okay, grass. While if the bushfires are rather less frequent, this results in the growth of eucalyptus forests. Okay. So why is this? Why do fairly frequent bushfires actually support the growth of eucalyptus? Mm -hmm. Well, one reason is that the fire stops the growth of other species which would consume water okay, in the more water. eucalyptus trees. Water. And there's another reason. If these other quick-growing species of bushes and plants are allowed to proliferate, mm -hmm. they harm the eucalyptus in another way by affecting the composition of the soil. Okay, composition of the soil, quality of the soil. So some bushfires are soil. actually essential for the eucalyptus to survive as long as they are not too frequent. Okay. In fact, there's evidence that Australia's indigenous people practiced regular burning of bushland for thousands of years mm -hmm. before the arrival of the Europeans. Okay. But since Europeans arrived on the continent, the number of bushfires has been strictly controlled. Mm. Now, scientists believe that this reduced frequency of bushfires to low levels has led to what's known as dry rainforest. Okay, dry. Which seems an odd name as usually we associate tropical rainforest with wet conditions. Okay. And what's special about this type of rainforest? Well, unlike tropical rainforest, which is a rich ecosystem, mm -hmm. this type of ecosystem is usually a simple one. Simple. It has That's very it. thick, dense vegetation and not simple. much variety of species. The vegetation provides lots of shade. So one species that does find it ideal is the bell minor bird, which builds its nests in the undergrowth there. But again, that's not helpful for the eucalyptus tree. So we have solved the... That uh, is the end of part four. Just end. You now have one minute let's, to check your answers to part four. Let's check the answers, okay? Uh, when it, when it, I guess you, you might have written on your, on your copy, so I have to, so I have to see here and back scroll, or I'll be taking photo of these answers and comparing my answers as for this listening test. Okay, well, the answer is here. And this is my cell phone. Okay. So just keep checking the answers. Let me take the photo. I'll take a single photo from here. Okay. Sorry. I'm just extremely sorry. And the answer. Mm. So I'm taking the photo and that the is the end of the listening test. I'm I'm In the IELTS the test, you would now have 10 minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. All right, so let's go back to the answers that we have written, okay? And check them one by one. So let me see here in my screen. Okay, you might have written the answer. So the answer is J A M I E S O N J A M I E S O N. Okay, it's correct spelling. It's afternoon. Fine, good communication. Fine, and a week. Fine, usually that is ten. Okay, that's fine. Wear a suit. Fine, bring the passport, fine. 
personality fine and they get the feedback fine and time fine okay we have got 10 out of 10 here let's see in this section two question number 11 answer is a sorry for the background sound uh, so question number 12 answer is b 13 a 14 answer is c we have got 14 out of 14 here question number 15 answer is zero it's fine okay the answer is 14 22 okay i wrote 14 20 it's a mistake one we have got one answer wrong here and the answer is top and it is pass and it is steam s-t-e-a-m steam and another answer is capital so we have got 19 out of 20 here the date is a mistake 1422 i've written 1420 i heard i guess like that and question number 21g 22a 23a 25 answer is e correct 26 25 b let's see b and 26 c so we have got 25 out of 26 27 answer is uh, 27 answer is c we have got two mistakes here question number 28 is a okay question number 29 and 30 in any order b and d okay we have got two answers wrong one is in question number 27 and one is in question number uh, 16 okay let's check the answers again in section 4 and the answer for question number 31 is shelter 32 well 33 rows constructing and making rows 34 answer is insects in 30 uh, five answer is grass or grasses grass is there in water then it's soil and the answer for this was written i guess it was uh, ecosystem simple okay it was simple sorry we get mistakes here question number 29 is simple we have written simple here and question number 39 we left the answers Altogether, we got 46 out of 40. So we have got just band 8 out of 9. Okay, I'll be sharing answers through my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to pause the video. Okay, and so we have got 36 out of 40. Okay, here the average score is band 8. It's not so bad we could have even get higher score so if you like this video please leave your comment give me some feedback and like subscribe and share these videos among your friends okay best of luck i'll be sharing more videos in the days ahead have a good day and goodbye